show you how simple it is to connect uh, IC Trainer with Strava to upload your training results to Strava. Uh, you can do this in the user profile. You have only to choose here Strava. Uh, that's it. Uh, you can choose also additional other uh, platforms. That's fine. But we talk now about Strava. And if you have done now a training and uh, stored the training results, so we start with a small training. So we finished now the training. Now it's important that you save the training results and that there are results here in the, the picture. So if you don't have done anything, it's nothing to upload. So then you get asked to upload your training. You can uh, change also the name of the training here if you want. Uh, that's fine for me. And I ask yes. In the where we first upload, um, I get asked now to input all my uh, or to log in on the Strava web page. That's the thing uh, that is necessary to allow IC Trainer to connect to Strava. So, and now we can authorize this here. And uh, uh, then it's done yet. One point is also important. Please log in with an email address and a password and not with uh, your Google account or Facebook account. It could be that this is not possible because the browser won't support it. Um, so, and now it's done yet. So the, the, the results are on Strava. If we go uh, again on the um, Strava web page. We'll so here we have the training and can also analyze the results as uh, this is possible uh, always in Strava. An additional information, if you want to do um, a GPX ride, uh, um, then it's important that you use the dynamic mode. Uh, we'll have a look for it. If we select here a GPX, no warm up. If we start it now, we get asked if we want to do it with a fixed duration or dynamic duration. It's important to choose the dynamic duration. If you want to upload also the the altitude profile and all this stuff to Strava because this is only possible in a real mode. If you use fixed duration, it looks like a normal structured workout in Strava. So we will do this now. So we, we wait for some seconds. So we save the result again. We get asked again if we want to upload it to Strava. We can change again the name if we want to do it. We're uploading it. So and now we can again go to Strava. So, and now here it is. And you see it's virtual. That's relevant because the uh, all the Strava segments are only virtual segments. So, said it is. So easy, you can upload uh, the results uh, here. And uh, yeah, have fun with the app. Just train, no game. Mm -hmm.